Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another brand new episode of Collider Movie Talk. We are here in San Diego for Comic Con 2016. It's Friday. You know, we, we, we did a show yesterday from here. We're doing another show today. Uh, some news dropped. Not, not a lot of big movie news that I think that's going to be safe for tomorrow. A lot of TV news came out. Sure. Um, how was your day yesterday? We had a, we had an awesome uh, meet and greet. Uh, yeah, meet it was up. great. Uh, it was a Collider video, Schmoes Knows, Film HQ. We were all there. All the crew and casts were there, and then we got to meet a lot of you cool fans. It was a lot of fun. Took a lot of pictures, drank, and uh, <laughs> you have a good time. I did. It was like yesterday. was like my most jam packed day. I was like I traveled back and forth from the very end of Comic Con back here mm -hmm. for interviews and panels and meetings, and it was uh, it was definitely cool. It was, it was a lot of fun to meet a lot of the people who watch the shows. And so. then you uh, you got to interview uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar yesterday. I did, we'll, man. We'll post that on the site. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's got a brand new comic book based off of a book he's been writing. Uh, he's a He's a big fan of Sherlock Holmes, Arthur Conan Doyle. So he wrote a uh, a story about uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes' brother, Mycroft Holmes. Yeah. So definitely a really uh, a cool guy, uh, very intelligent and incredibly tall. So you also, you also had your own announcement at Comic Con yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. Big so, announcement. What yeah. So uh, I'm writing the Slayer comic, and uh, I'll be signing today over at the Dark Horse booth at three o'clock with Slayer. So I went and saw them last night. It was awesome and uh, very uh, very metal. And we also have a Wendy Lee here. How was your Comic-Con? How did you like the meet and greet? I love the meet and greet. That was probably my favorite part of Comic-Con so far. And like you said, we had a really jam-packed day yesterday. So I was just, my stress level was high. Yes, we, <laughs> we shot a bunch of interviews. You can see some of that on, on the Collider YouTube channel. We haven't even posted all of them. We just posted like a few select ones. Bunch of interviews. Mm -hmm. We did the the, the meetup and yeah. we did the and movie talk. I snuck out of the meetup a little bit later because I had to go over to the Her Universe fashion show. My friend's dress was in the show. You guys, she won her dress. Oh, that won. is awesome. So now she gets to design a line that's going to be debuted at Hot Topic, and then you can buy it. Okay. Wow, it's phenomenal. Yeah. So uh, before we get into the first news topic, uh, one thing: uh, the buzz yesterday. We we actually did an interview with a. Uh, Luke Basson and Dane DeHaan yesterday. Sure. Frosty did that. There was a lot of buzz around Valerian in the yeah. in, in the footage. This is like kind of a surprise because you know people have been talking about this, but you know Luke Basson people have been kind of hit and miss with his stuff recently. But people are saying this harkens back to Fifth Element, but mm -hmm. kind of like an updated version. Yeah. Um, did you uh, hear about any of that? Well, buzz? I, I was here for when you, they, oh, you guys, right. they did the interview with Frosty. And um, yeah, I've, I've been looking forward to this film for several years since I heard Bassan was going to do it because it's based on this really cool comic book graphic novel from Europe. So I'm, I, I, you can read it. It's called Valerian and the something something. I can't remember <laughs> right now, but just look up Valerian and uh, check it out. It's definitely really cool. I don't know what. I didn't see the, the footage preview the or footage. footage, so it's it's hard for me to see if they're gonna try to go with the art design that's in there. But knowing Bassan, he likes to take from a lot of different elements from all of the different kind of science fiction worlds. So I think it'll be actually cool. So yeah, Perry and Frosty did a recap and review of that footage. They they actually saw it and and they actually really liked it. So check that out. All right, uh, Wendy, what's what's the first topic? All right, well, a new trailer. Pr a new promo trailer focusing on the Joker from Suicide Squad have been released ahead of Warner Brothers' presentation at Comic-Con. The extended promo focusing on Mr. J along with the new footage offers an intriguing look at the character with one shot in particular of the Joker and Harley kissing particularly interesting. Fans have never seen a romantic side to either character, so many fans must wonder what this might mean for the movie as a whole. Suicide Squad opens on August 5th and stars Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jai Courtney, Joel Kinnaman, Cara Delevingne, Viola Davis, Adewale, I'm going to mess this up, <laughs> Adewale, Akinoya, Agbaji, Adam Beach, Jay Hernandez, and Karen Fukuhara. Uh, for me, like, them kissing doesn't really mean, like, it's a romantic <laughs> thing. <laughs> but, yeah, it's something we haven't seen before on the, on the big screen with, with the Joker. Right. Uh, yeah, I really like this. I, I've been liking all the Suicide Squad stuff, and... This is no different. I think they're gonna do these like extended spots that are focused on each individual character. This one happens to be the Joker, who's one of the biggest draws for this movie. I like everything I've seen so far of Jared L Leto mm -hmm. as the Joker. He just looks psychotic, yeah. crazy, very intimidating. Like 
if he was here in the room right now, I'd be creeped out. Like, yeah. I'd be scared. Because he might kill you. Yeah. <laughs> or, or worse. There's a like, threat. Torture yeah. you. Do threat. something bad. What did you think of this trailer? I thought it was great. I've been looking forward to uh, seeing what Jared was going to do since they released those promotional trailers. I know a lot of people, when they first saw the Joker with all these tattoos and a grill, were like, that's not our Joker. But it's like, look, it's a different interpretation of the Joker. I can't wait to see what he does. And from everything I've seen so far, especially this last trailer, I'm really excited. I cannot wait to see what happens in Suicide Squad, how Batman interacts with the Joker. I mean, it's just it's it's, it's nothing but good news for the DC movie universe when you see something like this. I like that one shot where he puts up his hand. And he's got the, the mouth smile. hair and the smile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty cool. What do you think, Wendy? I actually liked it. I thought for me it was cool and I'm appropriately wearing my Harley Quinn shirt today. <laughs> um, the, the two of them kissing, it's actually kind of cool to see because you know that they're a pair, mm -hmm. and this really messed up pair, and just to see kind of where that relationship could go and play a little bit into the movie, I think is really going to set the tone. Because I know I had a reaction when I saw them kiss, and I was like, oh, I didn't think they were going to show that because I thought they were kind of against Joker for this one. So I don't know. It just made me more excited. You can really see how Joker is a complete maniac, and I no longer want to compare his Joker to the Heath Ledger, jo Ledger mm -hmm. Joker, like Schnapp said, it's a complete different interpretation, but he scares the crap out of me. Yeah, a, a few more weeks and we get to see, see yep. this movie. All right, what's next? Mm -hmm. Yesterday, Danny McBride shared a new set photo from the cockpit of the main ship in Alien Covenant on his Instagram, showing him in what is one of the final days of shooting since the film is now in post-production. The ship scene shows McBride piloting the new vessel that is essentially bound for the remote planet on the far side of the galaxy where a crew of the colony ship Covenant discovers what they think is an uncharted paradise, but it's actually a dark and dangerous world. Ridley Scott returns to the universe he created in Alien with Alien Covenant, the second chapter in the prequel trilogy that begins with Prometheus and connects directly to Scott's 1979 s seminal Some work of science fiction. Uh, Schnepp, what do you think of that uh, picture? It's cool. I mean, it shows him upside down. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It definitely feels very Ridley Scott, Scottian, if you want to say. You know, it's like, um, I'm, I'm glad that he's not doing his comedy bits, which I think a lot of people just were like, look, just because Danny McBride's in an alien movie, he's not going to be cutting jokes like on his HBO show. You know, it's like I, he's a good actor, I think. So uh, I'm excited to see what he's going to bring to the table. I love the idea of Covenant. I love how they're bringing it back. It's almost full circle. So I don't know if there's going to be another sequel. Supposedly there's another sequel after Covenant that then ties directly into Alien. So uh, I, and I'm one of those people who liked Prometheus, so I'm looking yeah, forward I'm to it. Yeah, I'm actually one of the people who liked it as well. I mean, I didn't love it, and there was definitely flaws, but I, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. For me, yeah, with Danny McBride, when you're talking about, yeah, he doesn't have to be comedy. He, I think he, he came out and said, like, with the script, he's like, the script is serious mm -hmm. and dramatic, and he says it's not about, he's not in there to, like, make jokes. Mm -hmm. So I think we're, we're going to see a different Danny McBride. Uh, seeing this picture is cool just because, you know, sometimes people forget how hard it is technically to shoot these things as they build these sets where you know they're they're mimicking uh, spacecraft and and how hard it is to jam pack those cameras you know yeah. you gotta mount them in all different places and you know i remember watching those sequences in uh the martian where uh, they're on uh the spaceship and they're they're trying to they're floating around like at least from my standpoint i was wondering man technically how did they you know uh, how hard must it have been to to do that, you know, to get them and follow them around and make it look like they were actually floating? Yeah. Wendy? Uh, I am not as big of a fan as, as this franchise. I was slightly disappointed by Prometheus. Okay. But I do like the addition of Danny McBride, and the photo that he's shown on Instagram definitely got me a little bit more excited to kind of dive back into this whole franchise and see what's what they have in store for us. Okay. All right, what's next? Matthew McConaughey might be headed for another Oscar in just three years after taking home his, the Best Actor trophy for Dallas Buyers Club. One of his most recent efforts, the highly anticipated drama Gold, and the TWC Dimension announced yesterday that it was slated the film for wide release on Christmas Day of this year, putting it directly into the awards season. Gold marks the long-awaited directorial follow-up for Syriana director, writer Stephen Gahan, who won the Best Adapted Screenplay Oscar in 2001 for Traffic. The film revolves around the epic tale of one man's pursuit of the American dream in a modern day set story of a prospector desperate for a lucky break who teams up with a geologist played by Edgar Ramirez to find gold in the uncharted jungle of Indonesia. So this is a movie I hadn't really heard about, but with that, when I see the people involved with it, you have McConaughey, mm -hmm. uh, you have Stephen Gahan, who, 
you know, I really liked his script for Traffic, and then he did Siriana, which I, I also enjoyed. This right. is his second uh, dir direct uh, directing gig, so I I'm looking forward to it. I am, you know, maybe I, I didn't see the movie yet, but Free State of Jones is a movie I know some people were expecting to be kind of an Oscar contender, and that kind of went you know, to the wayside after, sure. after critics and fans saw it. Right. So I'll be a little more hesitant. What about you? Well, I mean, the Free State of Jones thing, I think it's like with the time travel jump to the 60s. It isn't in the trailers. I think a lot through a lot of people mm -hmm. as far as the way the story goes back and forth. But uh, this sounds like uh, Indiana Jones meets <laughs> Blood Diamond. You yeah. know what I mean? It's sort of like, you know, bl fortune and glory, like looking for stuff and say, I'm sure there's going to be, because it's the director of Syriana, it's going to have a little harder edge to it. So uh, count me in. Wendy? I think Schnepp said it. That's that's perfect. Blood Diamond mixed with Indiana Jones. I really like Matthew McConaughey. I like really didn't take him serious in the kind of towards the earlier uh, part of his career. Like I was like, oh, just you know, pretty boy. And then he really transformed into this like multi-dimensional actor. So anything he's in, I'm always interested in watching. Okay. All right, what's next? All right, Jurassic World 2 is officially set for release. Am I reading the right story? Yes. Yeah. Jurassic World 2 is officially set for release on June 22nd, 2018, and the orphanage and the impossible director, Juan Antonio Bayona, is gearing up for production in Hawaii, which Jurassic Outpost recently revealed to begin shooting in Hawaii on February 27, 2017, under the production name of Ancient Futures. Hawaii will not be the only stop on the production schedule, with the rest of the movie rumored to be shooting at London's Pinewood Studios. <coughs> Jurassic World 2 has confirmed the return of Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, though other cast members have not been announced at this time. Uh, Wendy, what do you think about this news? I really actually like Jurassic World, surprisingly. I was bashing on it before. I was like, they don't need another remake. We got the, you know, the one we have now. It's perfect. And then I watched it. I had a lot of fun with it. Obviously, it doesn't match up to the original. I don't think anything really will. But I like the chemistry between Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. I thought they brought a little of the humor that needed to be there. I'm definitely looking forward to Jurassic World 2, see more dinosaurs. Snap. Yeah, no more running in high heels for you. No, yeah, none of that. Bryce Dallas Howard. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to see Ancient Future. I mean, it sounds fantastic. Yeah, I, I'm. I was one of the people also. I wish they would Jurassic. just call it Jurassic World Ancient Future. Oh, That's what I want. <laughs> uh, you never know. Uh, it, I'm also looking forward to it. It's it's one of those things. I wasn't clamoring for Jurassic World, but when I saw it, I enjoyed it. Sure. It's, you know, obviously it doesn't compare to the first one, but I I know I enjoyed it more than the third. Uh, yeah, I don't park. remember. The, uh, the only thing I remember about the third one is it had a pterodactyl in it. Uh, That's yeah, really I don't on a bridge. Much. It was like a. Ah, I'm wondering it. where the, where it's they're going to go with the, the Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard characters, though, because now they can't do the same thing they did before, where she was like the businesswoman, right. and, you know, and now they're supposed to be in a relationship, so right. they can't have that same kind of dynamic. They they got to turn that around. But I mean, that people aren't watching it for this romantic mm -hmm. relationship. Right. People are watching it. For, for dinosaurs. dinosaurs, and that's yeah. what we're gonna get. And obviously, Colin Trevorrow couldn't do this one because he's doing Star Wars mm -hmm. Episode Nine. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? Open Road Films has released a new trailer for director Oliver Stone's upcoming thriller, Snowden. The film stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt as, gover as government contractor Edward Snowden and recounts how he obtained thousands of classified NSA documents, which he then shared to the press in the interest of informing the public about privacy breaches from its own government. The trailer was released exclusively at Comic-Con, where Oliver Stone was in attendance. The film also stars Sh Shailene Woodley, Melissa Leo, Zachary Quinto, Tom Wilkinson, Reese Ifon, and Nicolas Cage. Snowden opens in theaters on September 16th. Okay, so this is a movie that was at Comic-Con uh, in Hall H. That was kind of, we talked about it, I forgot who we were talking to, but we're just kind of surprised that this movie was being shown here. Because sure. Comic-Con doesn't fit into any kind of, you know comic book, sci-fi, right. or even any type of kind of nerd culture. I I enjoyed the trailer. I, I liked it. It's definitely in Oliver Stone's wheelhouse sure. when it comes <laughs> to paranoia and conspiracies. Joseph Gordon-Levitt has seemed to get that. But the way if you watch the trailer and you see the way that he's talking, that's kind of how Snowden actually mm -hmm. talks right. in, in real life. I, I just hope it's a lot better than The Fifth Estate about Julian Assange. Uh, that Benedict, I'm a big fan of Benedict mm -hmm. Cumberbatch, but I did not like that movie, mm -hmm. so I hope this is a lot better. Snap. I think I think it's going to be a great film. Um, you know, we know Oliver likes to get into you know certain uh, things, you know, political, mm -hmm. you know, politically involved, and uh, you know, 
the thing about this movie to me that blows me away is you you know if you follow news in any way shape or form you know Snowden is you know has political asylum and our government is after him and that's all real when you watch this movie this isn't like some fake thriller you know a horrible dystopian future no it's <laughs> this is now and we all have these video cameras on our phones and you know uh, unfortunately we found out like some of the p people in our government are actually illegally spying on us and they got pissed because they didn't want us to know about that so and it's all true it's not it's this isn't fake and that's the horrible truth so that's why i'm excited to see snowden of course there's little things you know little gildings that stone throws in there but for the most part everything that you've seen is like you can actually look it up and it's real yeah. that's the scary part wendy the trailer was very intense, and I like what you said, Dennis, about Joseph Gordon-Levitt, mm -hmm. how he's completely embraced the role of Edward Snowden. He sounds just like him. He looks a lot like him. He's one of those other actors that I think um, has become very transformational. Mm -hmm. He gets turns into whatever character he's playing completely physically. Um, this trailer makes me not want to go on social media or use my camera <laughs> phone to do You anything. know that's not going to happen. I you know that's not going to happen. I want to put my phone in the microwave. Uh -huh. the, you're, on a, <laughs> you're on Pokemon Go all the time. They, the government's know, the tracking go me. People yeah. cheat me every day. They're like, don't you know this is... Uh, basically, like the government's way of keeping tabs on you. Know, yeah, they know where you are. I'm Pokemon like, Go, you're on, you like, have a GPS yeah. on. Everyone knows what you're doing. It's terrible. Yeah. I think for what we do, it's like one of those things where like you're not gonna be, you're not gonna stop Twittering. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna stop posting on Instagram. You're not gonna be <laughs> like, sure, it's just great. Just posted to, on Instagram yeah, this it's, morning. It's great to to think that. Yeah, just start taking your phone into the bathroom while you take a dump and have them watch you take a massive <laughs> oh dump. God. I mean, that's what's happening anyway. So you know, it's like. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. We live in a very transparent society. But I think, uh, you know, having your rights taken away without mm -hmm. your, you al allowing it mm -hmm. is something that we should all be aware of. You know, it's not cool. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, what's the last story? Final story. Relatively Media has released a new trailer for the upcoming supernatural thriller, Before I Wake. The film featured rooms... Jacob Tremblay as a young boy who's adopted by a pair of caring parents played by Kate Bosworth and Thomas Jane, who finds that his nightmares in their house starts to come true. Terrified of falling asleep, the boy is haunted by the visions of the couple's previous child who is currently dead. The film also stars Anna Beth Gish and Dash Myhawk. Before I Wake opens in theaters on September 9th. All right. Uh, what did you think of this trailer, Snap? You know, I saw Lights Out recently. That's a really, really mm -hmm. scary horror movie. I, was, I, I felt tense the entire time I was watching it. Okay. About this film, I couldn't tell you. Um, yeah. Like the trailer, you know. Uh, yeah. No. yeah. I feel like know. this has like a boogeyman type of vibe. It does, but the boogeyman's kind of goofy. <laughs> it's like people looking at it's all the same tropes that you see in every horror movie. So as for myself, when it first started, I was like, oh, the little kids imagining stuff, little kids showing up and disappearing. Mm -hmm. That was kind of cool. And then it became like, he, I have to draw the thing to keep the bad man away. I was like, oh, I'm bored. <laughs> Instantly oh. bored. All the rest of it. I was like, oh, what? Are, when are they going to show him like with the light, the flashlight under the bed? Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. It's just boring. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy. <laughs> Well, I actually, I'm looking forward to the special effects of this movie. I like that in the beginning when he was imagining stuff. You see the butterflies and Christmas uh, lights coming to life and floating. I was like, oh, this is going to be cute. And then not so much anymore. And I think one of the most dangerous things that horror movies can play on is kids' imagination and nightmares because it's endless. That's so true. They really, yeah, they really don't have a cap on what they, where they can go. So while the trailer might be a little bit mild and there are just few very typical standard jump scares i think there's going to be a lot more than what they show us i'm still going to see it i sell the trailer yeah. but mm -hmm. I, yeah i'm kind of with you schnapp though you kind of look kind of cliche kind of all the things what, that we've already seen the only reason i'm kind of interested is because of jacob tremblay who was in the room and he did a fantastic oh, job great. in that mm -hmm. see how his career progresses from there uh, th i think the only way for me you know everyone knows i'm not a big horror fan but the way a movie like this could work for me is if they actually the dramatic aspects of, you know, you're talking about Kate Bosworth's son, dead son, and, like, if that stuff actually works and connects and engages with me, then I can buy in. I'll be more fearful of what, what's happening later. But that's, you know, I have to see the movie to actually yeah, see it. Yeah, it's really so hard to tell. So the actual trailer itself, I, 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 I would sell. Man, well. Lights Out, though, I'd go see that. that one, yeah, Which, by the way, we have so a, we're going to have an interview with, uh, Perry did an interview with the cast of Lights oh, Out. Oh, sweet. And that's going to be up later today um so that's it for today's show but let's uh, let's talk about the stuff that that we're planning on doing for the rest of comic-con schnepp what, what's on your schedule oh man 
So today I'm doing a signing with Slayer at 3, um, doing a heavy metal panel, a tribute to the heavy metal movie from the 80s. It's the 35th anniversary of heavy metal, so it's going to be fun. A lot of special guests. We're just going to talk about heavy metal, you know, the influence of it, and uh, you know, the future of heavy metal. So that's for, for me for today. I'm doing a signing uh, for The Death of Superman Lives over at Baby Tattoo Books <laughs> at 1030. So if you're watching this later, it's, this will all be up after this yeah, is all probably. over. So hey, <laughs> thanks for coming by. But then uh, <laughs> same thing tomorrow. 1030 baby tattoo so check it out and then uh oh i'm sorry 1130 me and holly have a big announcement uh in room 6a tomorrow if you're here on saturday uh and for the rest of us we'll be doing a lot of videos a lot of interviews you know with both movies and television uh later today me and wendy are gonna go check out con man um, Fear, Fear the, the Walking, Walking Dead, Dead, Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. do some little uh, panel recaps and discussions about that. Saturday, I think we're, we're going to send Riley to cover the DC mm -hmm. uh, panel, the Marvel panel. Also, the big stuff. Sunday, uh, you will be interviewing Kevin Smith. Yeah, Kevin Smith. And Harley Yoga Quinn Hose. Smith, too. Yes. And, uh, and, and who else? And then I think we, we have Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman, Boseman. Right. Uh, right. He's going to be talking about uh, the Civil War Blu-ray, and maybe we can get some uh, Black Panther. Yeah, little from. nuggets about Black Panther. We'll talk to him about, see what he wants to say. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to do the Marvel panel. I mean, you know, it's Hall H, so yeah, it's you know, tough. roll a die. There's, like, people, like, sleeping out here for, like, <laughs> five days. I mean, you know, come on. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have some people who are going into Ballroom 20 on Saturday, trying to cover all those CW shows like Supergirl, Arrow, Flash, all that yep. stuff. So, yeah, we got a plenty of stuff. Stay tuned to this channel. Uh, Schnepp, where can people find you? You guys can just follow me on Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnepp. Wendy? Uh, on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Wendy Lee Zaney. And, yeah, I want to thank everyone again who came out to our meet and greet. Uh, and you can follow us at... Uh, at what was it at Collider Video yes. on Twitter? I think it's is it at Collider? Yeah, I think no, it's I at know, Collider. I'm just kidding. Okay. Just like, uh, we're all like really tired. Yeah, you can tell? subscribe to our YouTube <laughs> channel. It's uh, youtubecom Collider Videos. Myself at Think Hero and on Instagram Dennis.tzng. And we'll see you guys in our, a bunch of our other videos. Comic Con. Comic Con. No sleep. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.